All right, ladies and gents, I'm just going to do a little read aloud of this text. I'm going to need you to also watch the read aloud for the Manatee article or read it to yourself. Uh, but let's get started. This text is called the Lots of California Sea Lions Are Sick and Experts Are Trying to Learn Why. This is an article written in uh, 2015. And it looks like here, just fa based on the picture, that the topic is sea lions. And the caption says, Hoppy, the sea lion rescued from an almond orchard, joins Eugene on the left and Fenimore during their release back to the wild at Chimney Rock in Point Reyes National Seashore, California, May 6th, 2014. It looks like Eugene has probably been rehabilitated because he looks like he's got a little bit of an injury and they look like they may have been through some things before. But let's read this article. Los Angeles. Sick baby sea lions are turning up on California beaches. The sea lions are hungry and too small, said Sean Johnson. He cares for animals at the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, California. The pups are not the only ones in trouble. In January, rescue centers helped a record number of sea lions. They were of all ages, including adults. This is the third straight year that so many sea lions have been in danger. It's an emergency. In January, Johnson's group found 67 sea lions stranded on the beach. Normally, they would see just one or two sea lions in the entire month. It's a real shock to us, he added. It's shaping up to be a very, very bad year, said David Bard. He is with the Marine Mammal Care Center. It is in Los Angeles. At the end of January, there were 75 sea lions at the center. In 2013, the National Marine Fisheries Service declared an emergency. It is called an unusual, unusual mortal, mortality event, a UME. A UME is declared when there are too many strandings and deaths. Scientists thought it was a one-time event. It's happening again. But then it happened again last year, and now it's happening again, Johnson said. On an average year, Sausalito's Marine Mammal Center finds 600 stranded sea animals. Last year, it found 1,030 animals, Johnson said. Of those, 711 were sea lions. Most of them were pups. For the center to see so many animals is worrying. What's going on? Experts have different ideas. The sea animals might be sick. There also might be another cause. There have been 60 UMEs declared in the United States for marine animals since 1991. A cause has been found in 29 of those UMEs. Some were sickness. Since 1996, though, poisons from harmful sea plants have caused most of the UMEs. The poisons get into the fish that sea lions eat. Too many sea lions? Scientists thought there could also be another reason. There may be too many sea lions and not enough food. California sea lions were killed in the 1800s and early 1900s for their fur and fat. They continued to be hunted for sport in some areas later in the 1900s. The Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972 protected sea lions. Hunting them became against the law. The numbers of sea lions grew, Johnson said. There are about 300,000 sea lions now. About 50,000 baby sea lions are born each year. There may not be enough food for so many sea lions. Maybe the fish have all left, and that's why this is happening, Johnson said. We're hoping for some answers in coming weeks. Scientists working really hard. This is the third year in a row that such a large number of sea lions are dying, Johnson said. A team of scientists is looking for clues right now. They're working really hard to try and understand these questions. After the 2013 UME, the San Pedro Rescue Group began raising money to make its center bigger. It now has two new pens for their sea animals. I'm not even sure that's going to be enough, said Bard. In 2014, it spent $100,000 just on fish. I hope that we have some answers soon, Johnson said.